Welcome to the second video episode of our Connect Everything campaign. In the last episode, we looked at the Salesforce integration with S4HANA Cloud. This time, we will focus on the Workday integration with SAP S4HANA Cloud. Using the SAP integration suite as our integration solution, we enable the integration between Workday and, as mentioned, the SAP S4HANA Cloud. With this integration, HR-related data like employee master data, organizational data can be integrated between Workday and S4HANA Cloud. In this video, I will show you the steps how to integrate employee master data from Workday to S4HANA Cloud. Let's get started. Here is a quick overview of the integration scenario which we set up afterwards. On the left side, you can see the Workday as the source system on the right, on, on the right side or target application as for HANA Cloud. The integration uses pre-packaged integration content, which means ready-to-use integration packages within the SAP integration suite. These packages provide standard integration flows to easily connect the Workday to s HANA Cloud. In this scenario, we will show the employee data from Workday is integrated into s HANA Cloud. For this, we for this, we use the Workday adapter available in the SAP integration suite and the pre packet integration flow replicate employee from Workday to s HANA Cloud. And another important part of this integration is the value mapping, which helps to correct map the value, ma uh, which helps to correct convert the values from Workday to S4 HANA Cloud. Let's jump now how to set up this integration. To explore this scenario, we use the SAP Business Accelerator app. Here we search for the Workday and application and we search now for the Workday adapter for integration suite and the Workday integration with S4 HANA Cloud. As you can see in the screen, there is both uh, pre-packaged integration content available. Now you can see the scenario in the replicate employee from Workday to Svana Cloud and also the mentioned value mapping for the scenario. If you want to see more information about the integration iFlow, you can easily click on it and open the uh, iFlow artifact. And now, like in the cloud integration, you can here explore the iFlow and see the each and analyze each steps. The iFlow artifact have also a configuration guide. So for this replicate employer from Workday to SVR on a cloud, there is a configuration guide of this cloud integration artifact. And you can see here the document that you are linked it and you can download the document and read the document uh, for the uh, installation steps. As you can see here, the main steps for this scenario uh, is provided in this documentation guide. Now we will set up the S4 Cloud integration with Workday. For that, we go to the S4 Cloud system, set up a communication system. Here we need to create a new communication system. We will name it as Workday. The Workday communication system will just be in mode only. There we need to activate this here and set up also a new communication user for the inbound. Here we provide a username for this communication user and propose a password for this communication user. After we created the communication user, we can save the whole communication system and move to the next step. 
The next step will be set up the communication arrangement. Here we set up a new communication arrangement and search for the scenario it's calling Workforce Integration External HR Workforce Integration Communication Scenario 0301 and we name it as Workday Integration. We, we maintain here our created communication system in the previous step. The information will be set up automatically then. After successful activation, the important inbound service here is the replicate basic master data for workforce from external HR system. This SOAP inbound service will be used in the cloud integration as endpoint for the workday integration. Let's jump now to the cloud integration for setup. First we go to the discover part to search for the workday integration for the pre-package integration packages. Here we want to copy the workday adapter for our SAP integration suite to our own design runtime. And just simply click on copy and did the same for the S4 Cloud integration with Workday. Now these two packages will be copied or copied to the design uh, runtime of our tenant. So we will search for that and we will install now the Workday adapter for SAP integration suite. Just Click on the artifact and we can easily deploy the workday adapter here. After we deploy the workday adapter on the cloud integration runtime, we will now deploy our integration artifact where we choose the employer replication from workday to s cloud. Here you can see the value mapping also. First, we create, deploy, maintain the value maps, the right value maps, and deploy the uh, value mapping artifact. After the successful deployed, we can now deploy the replicate employer from Workday to s Cloud. Here, uh, first, we need to configure all settings. You have to maintain all the Workday tenant information and all the parameter and configure parameter they ask it uh, in the artifact here. After you have maintained the configuration value, now you can easily click on deploy and deploy the iFlow for the scenario. Here you can see we have deployed successfully the artifact and now we can see in the monitoring if is our iFlow running successful and is, if the messages are success, successful transfer it from Workday to s Cloud. You can see in the message monitoring here the, the message is completed and we can now see in the trace mode which steps are successful completed. You can see uh, each segment, each steps, and you can see the message flow from, from the beginning to the end, end step. And you can see here the successful message tran transfer to s Cloud. Now let's jump again to s Cloud and see if the employee are replicated successfully. For that, we go to manage workforce person app and filter here the entry source for the SOAP API that we make sure that just showed only the workers that integrated via the service. Now you can click and go to run the search. 
Here we can see the integration scenario was successfully and the workers, the employees, are replicated from Workday to S4HANA Cloud successfully. That's it. Thank you for watching the video and I hope this will help you to set up your integration scenario with Workday and see you next time. Bye.